Hey everyone, Dave from Corso here. Alex and I have terrible news. As we're getting ready to cut this, I realized that I was out of coffee, so. Well, I'm drinking my face water out of the coffee. <laughs> Ooh. Alex and I and Jason were super lucky to sit down with some folks at Canary, Jeff and Gary and Ken, over the last couple of days on site talking about a potential conversion. We wanted to share a little bit about Canary, canarylabs.com, if we're really fancy, we'll link it somewhere below. They're a process historian, so they collect time series data from any of your devices. They store that in their database file structure with compressed data. Mm -hmm. Platform yeah, that allows you to analyze and trend and monitor yeah. your data, as well as build the asset frameworks mm -hmm. that you could basically structure your process into okay. different types of equipment and assets and I love the look of those. It's really cool. I tell everyone like every time I go on an Axiom dashboard, build it out, it just it makes me smile. It may be like the super antithesis of high performance HMI, but I just love the colors and the style. There are three parts. So that there's Axiom, which is the dashboard, which is what we're taking a look at now. There's the historian side, which is a time series historian, which Alex talked a little bit about. And then there's the ignition chirp integration, which we, re which we really like. I mean, if you guys watch our videos, ignition and everything that we do with ignition and everything that you can do with ignition. And the fact that this integrates pretty close to seamlessly, I mean, as seamlessly as anything in this industry does, onto an existing ignition platform is fantastic. And we also like it because it gives people looking for basic visualization, such as Axiom, the ability to get in, learn the trending tools, learn everything else, and then easily go from Canary and add something like an ignition platform on top of it. And so Axiom is their visualization tool, and I'm sorry to the folks from Canary Labs, I probably am super underselling all of those features. Uh, we really like the Excel add-on that they offer. Go take the data that you're using export it into an Excel spreadsheet, and then be able to manipulate it based off of that. Plus, what we were talking about earlier is the fact that you can have an Axiom dashboard of the live data. You can pick the live data that you want, you can export it out into an Excel spreadsheet. You can have the static data that you can go through and manipulate, and then still have the Axiom dashboard showing the live data if it were to update. Yes, yeah, so this is Axiom. This is their trending tool. This is where you would build your asset frameworks, mm -hmm. which we'll get into in another video. We just imported some data for like a sign, cosine, and uh, from some PLC code I have written for a demo that we did. Mm -hmm. It's probably the easiest way to get access to your data versus anything else on the market. Mm -hmm. In the next release, they're going to be doing specifically for admission where you can populate the easy charts and the trend tools and, and the spark in, charts in the spark yeah. charts from Canary Labs as the data source rather than the ignition historian, historian which you could do now, but it would take some scripting. Um, they're going to do that natively. Kind of follows the concept of Sparkplug B where you just kind of create your tags and admission. Mm -hmm. and it just everything auto populates and generates on the canary side and i know we're super excited about that mm -hmm. i mean you guys have seen some of the stuff that we've talked about with better op uh, we've got some opto 22 like the epic groove coming in i know siemens is doing some stuff with mqtt i don't think it's marked will be yet but the ability to go from kind of like the base of we've just implemented a new machine to we've started it up and the canary historian can automatically see that can automatically pull the tags in and because of the integration with Ignition and because of the ability that you can use MQTT Sparkplug B through a broker, Ignition automatically sees that and everything else automatically sees that. I mean, that's hours or more, depending upon the size and tags and everything else. And that's the ability to go take, you know, the internal or the external resources, reduce the time that they spend commissioning everything, especially if you've got lots of remote sites that move around and be able to go and allow them to do that higher level stuff. And we talk a lot about that. Yeah, and I mean, we had done a demo where we're talking about converting from an OSI Pi system to Canary. Mm -hmm. And I had, I had Axiom with like an asset model already built before I, and I was running an OSI Pi installation before it even installed, I already had everything that we needed for the demo on the yeah. canary side and it's like that quick to to get up and running and they have a web api so you can interact they're updating 
data into the system mm -hmm. or pulling data out of the system. One thing that we're going to be doing is taking their diagnostic values out of Canary and adding that in as a Corso Care option. Yep. And we'll talk more about Corso Care and kind of the assets and the conversions in future Canary videos. That's a great product. Axiom. I mean, if you've used anything else, it's a trending tool. So kind of understand what that. I mean, it looks, it looks like great. a trending tool that you want to use. And it's easy to use and it, it's great. And it gives you, you can adjust your colors and properties and add and remove tags and do calculations and all kinds of different things. Let's and talk a little product. bit about the historian to close it out. Okay. Canary's historian, similar to like OSI Pi and the Wonderware historian and other historians, is a time series historian, right Alex? Mm -hmm. And that differs from like a database historian as something like the ignition historian. Can you give us like the super quick difference between what we get with time series and what we get with something like our ignition historians? Sure, so time series is basically time value quality mm -hmm. um, data. So you're just looking at the value of tags at a particular time and if they have good quality or bad quality mm -hmm. and whatnot. And that allows the data to be compressed. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to store the same amount of data in a time series historian as you do in just a raw database like an ignition mm -hmm. historian, it's going to take up less space and mm -hmm. generally be quote unquote more performant mm -hmm. uh, because it's optimized specifically for that type of data. Mm -hmm. And you're not necessarily doing something different than time series data in an ignition historian. It just the back end is structured. Okay. Differently, you're still getting data quality values and timestamps. Okay. Um, time series is generally a little better suited to like Boolean floating point and integer values. Yeah. Because you're typically not doing like string values mm -hmm. in, a, in a historian, but those are, everybody says those are the most expensive things to do on the database side. You know, a time series historian is a product that's specifically designed for collecting data that happens at okay. time periods. And it gives you the capability and you know the, the tools that Canary provides to interact with their data. They're designed specifically for that in mind. Yeah. Uh, and it's all browser-based and HTML5. And you could embed this in your Ignition window so you get Axiom in your Ignition client or mm -hmm. your prospective clients uh, out of the box. For many people, like the Ignition system that they're building on and they want more different charting tools or trending tools. They want the ability to easily export and kind of drill in on Excel and it makes it better. Mm -hmm. So most people, if you're looking at an historian to add on to your Ignition platform, this is really good. The, the licensing structure is similar to the licensing structure of Ignition. Our quick sales pitches, if you're interested in learning more, please contact us. And if we don't know, we'll, we'll connect you guys with the super smart people over at Canary Labs. Like, comment, subscribe below. Alex and I are gonna put together some more content talking about how we have gone and actually imported OSI Pi tags and Wonderware historian tags. And you can check that on the next course of video. Catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. Is Canary can be used without ignition as yes. a standalone historian. Mm -hmm. So they have a, what we deemed the full-blown canary mm -hmm. and then the chirp. The full-blown canary. Uh, ah. Maybe like full wingspan. No, know. no, I like full-blown canary.